My name is Lady Whistledown. You do not know me, but I know you. Bridgerton Season 3 is set to hit Netflix in May 2024, and Season 4 has been confirmed. The show is based on the Bridgerton book series, which allows for a total of eight seasons, each centered around a different Bridgerton child. This upcoming season will focus on the romantic story of Colin and Penelope Featherington. Fans are excited about the possibility of more spin-offs, especially a prequel detailing the love story of Violet and Edmund Bridgerton. With hints about Queen Charlotte's story, there might even be a sequel season dedicated to her. Bridgerton seems to have a lot in store, and fans can anticipate the return of Queen Charlotte in Season 3. So here are some things that fans of Bridgerton are looking forward to seeing in the next season. One of the things we want to see in Bridgerton Season 3 is the opportunity to make the Bridgerton's forgotten sibling more important. While the show has explored various siblings in the family, one character, Hyacinth Bridgerton, has felt underutilized. The show's structure focusing on one sibling per season often leaves the younger Bridgertons feeling like strangers. However, new images from Bridgerton Season 3 suggest a shift, giving previously ignored siblings like Francesca more prominence. Hyacinth, the youngest Bridgerton, has yet to be fully developed as a character in the TV series. With the show changing the order of events from the books, it becomes necessary to explore Hyacinth's character. Despite appearing in every episode of the first two seasons, her defining qualities from the books have not been highlighted. Bridgerton Season 3, with its focus on Colin and Penelope, could provide an opportunity to delve into Hyacinth's character. Hyacinth's role becomes crucial as she plays an important part in Colin and Penelope's story. With Penelope spending more time with the Bridgertons, especially during the focus on Colin and Penelope's love story, the show might offer a unique perspective on the family dynamics. Hyacinth's entertaining qualities, as described in the books, could add depth to the character and make her stand out. The hope is that Bridgerton Season 3 will make the necessary adjustments to include and explore Hyacinth's character more fully. This includes showcasing her role within the family, highlighting her interactions in society, and mirroring the insights provided by the books, particularly in romancing Mr. Bridgerton. That season three must address is the unexplained romantic plotline involving Queen Charlotte, while Queen Charlotte. A Bridgerton story serves as a prequel to the Bridgerton series. There is an unresolved romantic story that fans hope to see more of in Bridgerton season three, set to premiere in May and June of 2024. The focus is on Brimsley and Reynolds, characters from Queen Charlotte, whose forbidden romance lacks a solid ending. In Queen Charlotte, Brimsley and Reynolds, attendants to Queen Charlotte and King George III, respectively, share a love affair. The series hints at their separation, leaving their fate open-ended. Bridgerton, season three is seen as an opportunity to reveal what happened between Brimsley and Reynolds. The characters, introduced more prominently in Queen Charlotte, bring depth and intrigue to the narrative. Brimsley especially transitions from being a mere servant to a character with an inner life and romantic inclinations. Queen Charlotte establishes a foundation for exploring characters like Brimsley in more depth. The desire is for Bridgerton Season 3 to continue developing Brimsley's story or, at the very least, reference it. The responsibility lies with Bridgerton to carry forward the narrative introduced in Queen Charlotte and make the world and character dynamics more interesting. The hope is for the show to bring back Reynolds and complete the romantic narrative hinted at in the deleted scene from Queen Charlotte. Bridgerton Season 3 is seen as having the potential to seamlessly integrate both characters into the ongoing narrative and provide closure to their love story. Another is the only Bridgerton sibling who is noticeably missing from most of Bridgerton seasons 1 and 2. Francesca, played by Ruby Stokes, is the sixth Bridgerton child, and fans have been curious about her absence. In season 1, it's explained in the finale that Francesca spent most of her time in Bath. She was likely with an extended family, possibly for educational purposes. The character appears briefly in season 1, 
And while the books have more of her minor storylines, the show keeps her away without providing many explanations. Despite being at home with the family, Francesca is largely absent from Bridgerton season two. This absence is attributed to actress Ruby Stokes having prior commitments with another Netflix series, leading to her recasting for season three. Francesca's story in the books should occur during Bridgerton season six. In the series, she eventually marries Michael Sterling, the ninth Earl of Kilmartin, and they have two children together. Francesca is described as a more mysterious and enigmatic Bridgerton sibling. Hannah Dodd has been recast as Francesca for season three. She expressed excitement about joining the cast and mentioned reading six of the Bridgerton novels to better prepare for the role. Dodd understands the love fans have for Francesca and is eager to bring the character to life in the Netflix series. Despite not knowing fully what to expect with the Regency-era soap, Dodd is ready to do her best with the role and is enthusiastic about portraying Francesca's beautiful storyline. Bridgerton season three will focus on the romance between Colin and Penelope instead of Benedict, contrary to the order of the books, where Benedict's story is in the third book. Showrunner Jess Brownell explained that they've spent two seasons developing the dynamic between Penelope and Colin, and it felt like the right time to lean into what has been set up with them. Brownell mentioned that Benedict is a fun and fan-favorite character, and they are excited to let him have more fun before he settles down. While Brownell's explanation makes sense, it doesn't guarantee that Bridgerton season four will focus on Benedict. The statement, we are really excited to play with him for a little bit more, is intentionally vague leaving the possibility open for his story to continue beyond season three. The announcement about Colin and Penelope leading season three came quickly after the release of season two, so viewers may not have to wait too long to find out if Benedict will be the focus of season four. Considering the remaining Bridgerton siblings, Eloise and Benedict are the only ones shown exploring romance so far. It's expected that the show will want to establish all three of the younger characters before they lead a season. While a recast might be initially surprising, it is a common practice in television. Bridgerton has previously recast Francesca Bridgerton, with Hannah Dodd taking over the role in season three due to scheduling conflicts with the original actor, Ruby Stokes. A recast for Simon could ensure continuity if the character is brought back for future seasons, allowing new actors to take on the role. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.